96, I was, um, I was on drugs and alcohol. And uh, a very, I was a very worldly girl, uh, looking for uh, love. Uh, my mother was dying from sickness. My father was on alcohol and very depressed because my mom is dying. And uh, I think I really looked for someone to love me and I uh, wanted to get married. I started to drink a lot of alcohol every night with friends and uh, parties, parties, parties every night. I had a work, but um, I was not so happy inside. One night I, was, uh, I had a motorbike and I was driving on my motorbike and I screamed, I really screamed, God, I do not want to live no more. I want you to take my life. I don't want to live no more. If, if a car would come, I would just go into that car and I wanted to really just live my life. I did not want to live. But at that second, when I screamed this in, in my driving, something came on me and, and was from my head and all over my body. Supernaturally, love and hope and uh, warm and everything filled me up and I felt so blessed and loved. I knew this, I didn't know what is that. I did not know about Yeshua or anything, but I knew, I thought it's uh, aliens. I did not know there is an, a real God. But from that moment for a whole year, I really searched for that power. What was it? So I went everywhere. I went to rabbis of Jews. I went to fortune tellers. I went to Kabbalah. I went to crystal balls. I went to Tara cards. I went to uh, speaking to spirits, uh, yoga, meditation in the nature, uh, Buddhism. I went everywhere, search for that power. I want to know what was it. But everybody confused me more and more. Everybody had something, but no one really cared for me. And so God himself never left me. The whole year he was with me. I felt him every day, every day, every day. After a whole year of a big, beautiful stories with him, I felt to buy a newspaper. In that newspaper, the main newspaper of Israel, it called Ziediot Achonot. I never bought it before, so I bought it and I looked for work. And there it was. Whoever loves nature and animals and agriculture, come and live with us. We'll give you a free home. Just come and volunteer uh, in, in, in this environment. So I said, wow, I felt this is, this is for me. I called the man and he's a pastor. I did not know that time. He's a believer, Messianic Jew. And uh, he talked to me. I felt he's like a father. Immediately, I felt so good. And I took my little bag and I came to the farm. After two weeks only, that's where I met Yeshua when they worshipped. They prayed in tongue, worship in tongue, and I said, what language is that? And I really felt connected immediately to that spirit. That's what touched me on my motorbike. And so they immediately baptized me. I didn't even under, understand that they, they say Yeshua. Any, I didn't have, and understood what they believe in. But I start to believe in it, walking with them, singing with them, living with them. But um, it took me like a month. And then God visited me personally on my tent. I had a tent. I lived in a tent for six months in that farm. So I went into that little tent. It's a snow tent. And God entered the tent for five hours. And that's where I met him. I came out of the tent in the morning. People said, what happened to you? I was different in my face, f full of light. I could not eat for 12 days from that moment. I, was, I couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy, so happy to live. F the, the hope that filled me up from that day was supernatural. I, I don't think I ever felt that way another time like this so powerful way of hope. And then from that point, I had lots of beautiful, beautiful, blessed, relaxing experiences with God. And uh, I lived there for six months and then I start working and volunteer in that farm for three years more.
until we got married and uh, experience three years of major deliverance cleansing sometimes took many good fasting and praying to release us because I was very abused as a child very beaten cursed and I did not know love so I was in bondage and strongholds of the enemy so it took us a long process to come out and be free and, and, and release that to other people now, slowly, slowly. But that time there, three years of big uh, process of deliverance and victories. Victories, we used to jump, men, and scream, Yeshua! Oh, it was like, oh, I'm breathing, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. And it was so real. So I really enjoyed that time in my life. I really enjoyed that. God started to manifest to me in different ways, show me angels. That is awesome. I saw angels a uh, couple of times, angels coming up and down leather, that coming up on the roof, up and down to the... And I said, wow, an angel, just naturally. But then I say, ah, an angel, and I covered myself up. I was so afraid. And one time, one time also she had a big wound in her face because of she walked in the kitchen right into our oven. She said, Mama, it's really hurting me. And I said, why don't you pray? She prayed and I went to the other child and then she said, Mama, Mama, you sure came and healed me. And everything disappeared. We have a, we have a God. We have someone that we can really lay on. But it's scary sometimes, I understand. So uh, I have many reasons to be afraid, but God is step by step bring me out and give me strength to, um, to be who I am in Christ. And I believe that my personality in Him is so new. I do believe that God raised me and let me pass through a very suffered life because he wants me to bring big victory and help many other Jews to come out of hell into Jesus and show them that God is real by the Holy Spirit's power and love. This is the time now in Israel that the Holy Spirit moves from the south to the north in every city, Beersheba, Elat, uh, uh, Haifa, Tiberia, Galil, Golan, Tel Aviv, in every place there are many believers raising up, a new generation with Yeshua, getting to know the Holy Spirit, getting to, to bring miracles into the land. He loves us very much. He wants to bring His good news and the, the enemy is very powerful from the religious Jews to not bring it. But God wants to now break this wall and bring it into his people, the poor people here, the needy people here, bring the good news of the kingdom of God. I have a personal experience with God and I know that God is alive, Yeshua is alive.